You're a cloud. You're a fool. You're a baboon. Good evening. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Dylan's Kitchen. Today, on the menu, we have freshly shot mallard duck. Let's get her cut up. <clears throat> Let's get her cut up. So, what we have here is a drake or male mallard duck. And uh, first thing that we, we're gonna do is you gotta find this Y bone right in the middle of this chest right here. And basically what you do is you find the top of it where it ends right there. And what I like to do is just grab these feathers and rip them out so you have an opening right there on the top of that bone. And you make a small cut right along that Y bone. Just run it all the way down. Basically, once you got that first cut, when they're still warm like this, you pretty much just tear the skin away from the meat. The next thing that we're gonna do is take your knife and cut, make a slice right along on each side of this Y bone here, or chest bone, or yeah, along this chest bone. So, you just do this process to both sides and you'll end up with some, some beautiful duck breasts. I mean, who don't like boobies? They taste amazing. So yeah, we're just gonna get them cleaned up and then hopefully get her into grease. Well, welcome back. Uh, well, it's been a couple weeks since we shot these ducks and uh, finally decided to cook them up. So let's get started. So we're going to take our meat, throw it in the milk, and defrost, uh, call it good. Now we can also chop up our vegetables. Mm. Gonna chop them into really small pieces. Take our cream cheese and scoop the cream cheese into another bowl. And we're gonna take our chopped green onions. And dump those in the same bowl. Now, I'm just gonna mix this compaction up. Oh. We are going to take our bowl of Italian dressing and just put all the duck inside the marinade. Boom. 
But uh, basically you're just gonna let this sit in the Italian dressing for probably a couple of hours or something, it's cool. Just let it soak up that Italian dressing and then we'll go from there. Well, now that it's been like an hour or something, I would usually keep them in the dressing for longer, but I'm getting pretty hungry, so. Let's just get right into it. <clears throat> First, we are gonna take the bacon. And get that whole thing going. And you're also gonna need some toothpicks. Uh, your jalapeno and then your cream cheese. Basically all you're gonna do here is lay out your bacon. Just like that. And then you're gonna pick out a piece of your cut up duck. Put it right in the middle of the bacon strip. Take a scoop of your cream cheese concoction dealio. Throw a little smidge of that on there. And then top her off with a jalapeno. And then all you're gonna do, sort of wrap all of that up somehow into a little popper. All right, so here we go. The more and more I did of these, I found what worked better. What I found was that my piece of meat needed to be smaller, but take this, same process, throw your cream cheese on top, slice of jalapeno right there. And then what you do, instead of trying to get the whole thing in one piece of bacon, Wrapping it up in one this way, toothpick it right there, and to the side, and then slap another piece of bacon down, and then double doozy it the other way. That way, nothing's coming out, it's all contained in there might take a little bit longer to cook, but I think it's gonna be a lot better like that. But there's your pro tip of the day. All right, so we're gonna take our pan and our vegetable oil, and we're just gonna do a little nice sploosh of that. Get that all good around there. Alright, finally looking like they're done. They're a little bit crispy, but I'm just trying to get the meat to fully cook on the inside, but shut that thing off and uh, give her a little taste test. Here we go. Let's 
see how these things taste. Make sure you take out all the two things. We're just gonna go all in. Oh my god. Woo! Seriously, that was so good. But uh, yeah, um, food was amazing. Had fun killing those ducks, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one. See ya.